Hey foodie tribe, it's Gloria and welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new, welcome to Gloria's Gal Living, where I make content on food, travel, and life in general. If that is something you're interested in, hit subscribe and join the tribe. Yesterday did not go as planned. I was so exhausted from ripping and running for the past couple of days. And my um, EDS and fibromyalgia is flared up. So I took some medication last night and I was in and out of sleep all night. And then um, I didn't even eat dinner. <laughs> I didn't eat dinner. So I didn't get a chance to show you guys what I got from the Asian grocery store or Hobby Lobby, which my plan is to try to show you that today. But right now I'm just relaxing. It is 11.22. I just took the dog out and fed him. And I am just gonna relax for a while and watch a couple episodes of Skinwalker Ranch season two on Hulu. I really enjoyed season one last year, so I'm watching that now. Um, like I said, the plan is to cook today so I'll probably go downstairs and cook. The other plan is to come up here and wash clothes and straighten up, get my room a little reset so I can finish with my craft project. Freight train. Um, I also wanted to go through my clothes and get rid of old clothes and different things like that. Um, that may be a tomorrow problem. We'll see how I feel. I'm really trying to learn how to you know listen to my body because I want to do everything and I'm still having episodes where I'm doing like 10 things in one day which then has me down for like two or three days afterwards so yeah we'll see how that goes I'm gonna eat my corn my Korean corn dogs I'm gonna drink my sparkling water and watch my show and just chill for a little bit so I will catch you guys when I go downstairs to cook soon after Hey guys it is later it's 3 44 i am downstairs i just finished washing the dishes because just cannot function in a kitchen when there's dishes everywhere you know so right now we're going to do a quick unboxing of the instapot gourmet dutch oven or insta gourmet dutch oven i think that's what it's called it's six quarts serves up to six this is what it looks like. This is what it looks like. We're gonna open this up. These usually run, I looked on Instapot's website, and they're like $229, but you can catch them on sale for like one. 149 or 129 I got this at Costco for 90 I want to say it was either 96 or 98 somewhere like that but it was under 100 bucks they can't be mad at that what's this discover amazing Oh, it has a recipe book. To get started using manual. Comes with a little spatula. And two little spatulas. This is more like a, this is like a little spatula, a little plastic spatula and the tongs. Heavy. 
pretty red. Has little handles. So you guys can see. Has little handles. And you sit this on there so it doesn't burn. It's a little silicone. Definitely super heavy. So here's the base part right here. little give to it plug I'm going to wash this part out the pot and the top and the utensils and stuff and then I'll be back Watched out everything. These utensils that came with are super good quality. They're really heavy and sturdy. The silicone pad is to put the pot on here after you cook and you want to sit it here so you don't have to sit it directly on your counter. So, and then same thing with the little handle silicone grips. <clears throat> when you're moving the pot, you want to put them on and take them off. You don't want to leave them on there. So we'll set that to the side. In here, I'm going to braise um, pig feet. So I need to read the instructions first to see what I'm doing. It's pretty much self-explanatory. So I have all my Insta stuff together. There's my Insta pot, the new one. The um, and I love them all. Okay, guys, I got two smaller onions. So I only have these two and one big one. I'm gonna use the big one for my curry. I grew up eating pig feet. I think I've made them a couple of times on this channel. I love them. Been eating them since I was younger. I don't eat them often, but when I have, you know, a taste for them, I will make them. And that's maybe, maybe three times a year. So this is my first time doing it in 2023. So. No special way to really cut these onions up. Just kind of slice them. in this will be garlic and onion and then I usually season mine with I use vinegar to take some of that gaminess out of pig feet and 
seasoning salt, like Lowry, and some hot sauce at some point, garlic powder, onion powder. Yeah. So those are done. I already cleaned my pig feet. Now, however you guys clean your meat, that is entirely up to you, whether you do it with vinegar or, you know, just rinse them. I don't know. I like to rinse mine just to make sure like when they cut them, I get all the gritty bits off. And sometimes I'll, I'll boil them and then pour it out and boil them again. It just kind of depends on the mood that I'm in. I know people have washed them off in women, whether that helps, <clears throat> whether that helps kill bacteria or what have you. I don't know. You know, they say you spread some of them around, but I grew up washing my meat, so that's what I still do. So that, and then we have, you know, water, a couple water, a couple cups of water. So let's start this process. First, I'm going to clean up my mess. Turn that on. I'm going to do a manual. Like, I guess you could do braids, but I'm going to start off at manual. And there's two modes for manual. This is the higher temperature. So 220, 212 to 400, or the first mode is 700, mm -mm, 77 Fahrenheit to 203. Second mode is 212 to 400. So I'm gonna start off on manual, second mode. I'm going to leave that at 300. And the time I'm gonna have, the time, it takes pig feet some time. So I'm gonna do three hours. is delicate I'm gonna start it and now it's preheating preheating I'm gonna make my rice this time I'm gonna do red rice I need to get some more little black rice, some forbidden rice, got some sweet barley, and I have some oats, like the kernel before they go processing it. And of course, you gotta wash it. Let that soak for a sec. I come over here. Oh, it's blinking. Add food. So I'm gonna throw in these onions. Now I'm gonna add water. Oh, 
let that come to a boil and then I'm going to add some seasoning. So that's what it looks like right now. Once it boils, season. I'm going to go and wash my rice. I have some zucchini, onion, tofu, a Japanese sweet potato, some cabbage, and underneath there mushrooms. Just for the extra hot curry, and I also have bean sprouts. Just I had a really really big sweet potato, so that's what I'm using. And the rice is done. Pig feet are cooking. I did add some seasoning salt into it. I'm thinking I might need a bigger pot, but I'm going to chance it. dinner. I'm going to eat. I'm come back when the pig feet are done. Raised pig feet. 
are done. I did turn around and add some more seasoning to this. I add a little bit more Lowry seasoning, some Cajun seasoning, some uh, cayenne pepper. That's it. Cooked for almost four hours. I'm done down here for the day.